This is Mr. New Vegas fanning the flames of your passion. Here are our top stories. Good Springs has fended off a mob of escaped convicts after organizing an impromptu militia. This according to an old man armed to the teeth with dynamite. In other news, a big congratulations to a young band of soldiers who shattered NCR records on a combat readiness evaluation at Camp Golf. Go get them, guys. Mojave, mo problem. What the hell? They got all the credit, even though I'm the one who taught their asses? I feel ripped off! Eh, nothing really I can do about it. That's the military for ya! Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we did a couple of things. We went up to, if I can pull the map up, not that one, over here. Uh, we explored Ruby Hill Mine. We got uh, the unique displacer glove pushy, which Veronica is rocking. We also got the, I wouldn't really call it a unique weapon because it's not really a weapon because it's really just a BB gun and BB gun suck in this series. We got the Abilene Kid BB gun. It has high critical chance, but that's really the only way you're actually going to do any damage with this thing. Now, back to what I was going to say. Uh, we only got a few things left to do here in Nellis. There's four things. Things I want to do. There was going to be three, but, uh, well, yeah, I gotta repay the Boomer's Museum a visit because if we recall in the last part, I walked out of there without picking up a certain collectible, and I'm pretty sure everyone who watched it just went. So, yeah, I gotta go back there and pick that up. But before we do anything else, I want to go into the hangar here because, well, that's where we have to go for the turn in of this quest. We have to go find Loyal. And he usually hangs out inside this hangar. If not, it's actually in his shack at night. So, first things first, if I can find him relatively fast. Loyal? Loyal? Are you in here, Loyal? Loyal, hey, there you are, you sneaky son of a so bitch. I have been looking for you all over because this is actually take three because take one and two had failed recordings because the f recording process decided to freeze halfway through it. Um, I've repaired the solar arrays and increased their efficiency. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Now that I did that for you, can I pretty please, pretty please, pretty please go into the VR pods in the mess hall? Please, I promise I won't break anything. No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Oh, come on. I'm genuinely con interested in your people's history. What are they even for, anyways? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the sky. Gee, I wonder who you're gonna get Don't to get help blown. you one day rule the skies again. If only I could get idolized by boomers, which is very good. But also, if I could actually get to use those VR things, that'd be so fun! In all seriousness, I think the VR pods were actually gonna be usable in this game, but they were cut out due to time constraints, which I can understand why, so they had to say, no, you can't use them, they're only for us. Now, Jack! I've been looking over so the this entire base for you the last couple times. There, huh? I got a thing to wow. do for you. You got you a thing to do for me. Let's language. see if we can come to an agreement. But I hear you sound like us. I'm looking for a way to help out. Anything what I in could mind? Use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well. Ah, uh, forget it. Where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time. Usually around the campfire. It must be nice. Sharing yourself like that. Not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Okay, put the brakes on. I'm bad at relationship advice, buddy. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. 
Uh, wow, and I thought I was awkward in relationships. I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. Trust me, I have Wild Wasteland on. That would on. be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Okay, what? I'm just gonna slowly back away from you. Problem for you. Just saying. Hey, don't you be dissing Eddie. Eddie's awesome. I love Eddie. Look at him. He's an iBot. He shoots lasers, and he has a license plate on him. Don't you be dissing my Eddie. You're just jealous because Eddie can fly and you guys can't. Don't worry, Eddie. I won't let them hurt you. All right, so we got two things we need to do. One is which we got to go talk to Pearl. Other of which we need to go talk to this girl for this quest. And also go back to the museum because reasons. In fact, I might as well do that right now because I'm already here. But I'm actually going to go talk to the girl first because I want to... Not only will this get this quest out of the way, I have to go talk to Pearl anyway. So might as well just get it out of the way in one go. Because we got to go talk to Pearl to uh, continue on with Volaire. And if I can actually remember what the damn museum is. It's over here. I think it's either this one or this one. Um... Hmm... I can't remember. My money's on the left. And you might be asking, Well, hey, you just did this like a couple days ago. Wrong you are, because this is actually taking place like two or three weeks after the... Not the Nellis Schoolhouse, you idiot. Uh, this is taking place two or three weeks after the last recording, because, well, I... Holy children everywhere! Uh, the reason behind that is, well, I had some personal and technical issues I had to get out of the way. Plus, you know, E3 around the corner, I wanted to check up on this. This is the medical station. What the hell? That's the schoolhouse. That's the medical station. Where the hell is the museum? Is it over here? Uh, it's probably over here. But might as well talk about E3 while we're going through here. The whole conference, it, it wasn't as good as last year's. So I'll say right now. I don't think anything's ever going to top E3 last year. Here it is. Uh, but there were some good things and some bad things. EA had probably one of the best conferences out of all of them. Uh, I'm completely uninterested in Breath of the Wild for Zelda. Hi. Uh, Sony was one of the worst conferences I've ever seen. The hell? What? Uh, where's the thing? Or was it in the schoolhouse? Am I being an idiot again? Oh, no, wait, there it is. There we go. Snow globe. That was almost 2,000 caps I almost lost. And, you know, if people are using this thing for a guide to complete it and get the snow globes. But as I was saying, uh, Sony had one of the worst conferences out of all of them. Kojima... Konami was a fool for letting Kojima go. They should have kept him along. I mean, dead standing? Please. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Ubisoft, they had no cringeworthy things at all throughout their entire conference, which surprised me to no end. Uh, Microsoft, Dead Rising 4, pfft, please, that game's gonna suck! And I'm probably not fooling anyone with the, these analogies, because holy shit, was that still a really good E3 conference. For most of them, not all of them. Cough, cough, Ubisoft, E3, A, cough, cough. Alright, so... It's time for us. We need to go all the way back to the Crimson Caravan Company. Hmm, a red-headed woman having to deal with the Crimson Caravan Company. You ain't trying to hit on Cass, are you? S stand back, man. She's mine. I mean, I'd go after Veronica, but she's not into guys. Plus, you know, it's a mutual friendship. She punches things, and I let her tag along to explore the wasteland. It's a win-win situation. Ah, uh, the Crimson Caravan Company. I never seem to be able to escape you guys. Hey there. As much as I really would want Here's to. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Holy shit, Ringo's still alive. I'm surprised the Wasteland didn't kill you, buddy. Uh, who's in charge Alice here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. Uh, what's I'm next for you? I'm to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. Mm. 
Well, good on ya. Who knows? Maybe I'll travel with a caravan myself up to Utah. Maybe we'll cross paths. Maybe shit won't officially go down during that trip and I'll be forced to fend for myself. Spoilers! Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Oh, really? I can't imagine why. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I want to know because I want to know what type of binoculars you have because the ones I have are crap. I can barely see anything from a distance, yet you're able to spy on the boomers over in Nellis without getting shelled by artillery? Impressive. Uh, I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Uh, he's nice. Maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you're the love of his really? life. <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go <laughs> him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Now, I could be a dick lie and tell him to go go have that she has permission to go to Nellis but the thing is she actually will fall for it run to Nellis and get hit by artillery it's somewhat funny but also somewhat kind of mean uh, I'll go ask Pearl to make an exception for this you because so honestly I don't want to piss the boomers off I mean I've pissed a lot of people off in the wasteland already and in real life but that's a different story so I might as well go out talk to Pearl. After all, I gotta go talk to her for Volair anyway, so kill two birds with one stone. After all, the boomers love me. There's no way they can say no to this pretty face. Mother of Pearl, I've got big news for you. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. And I totally won't exploit your people's trust. <laughs> okay, seriously, I won't exploit the people's trust. Uh, Jack's interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? Uh, she works for the Crimson Caravan Company. She's with those traders. They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and... I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. <coughs> if I could make it through the artillery, you need to really check your sights. <coughs> uh, it would mean a lot for Jack if she could come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. I come back to Nellis a week later and the entire airbase is just burned to the ground. Well, I think I've done everything that I can do to help out, except for, you know, help Jack. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Oh, gee. I wonder what that dream could be. Could it be the thing that every single boomer... Pearl? Pearl? Pearl, you okay? Looks like you were phasing out of existence for a second there. I guess she was so fond of the dream that she just couldn't contain the excitement. Alright. There's a couple things I want to do inside here. One of which is to... Uh, biker goggles, head wrap, reading glasses, nothing. You know, for people who hate stuff that's outsider... Wow, you got combat armor in here? Wow, I didn't even know, know that was a combat armor locker. Sorry. I'd rob you blind if it wasn't for the fact I'd betray your trust. Uh, does she have it on her character? That's probably the question. Hmm. Bottle cats, wonder glue. I guess she has it on her character. Wait, there's a desk. Is that on the desk? In the desk? No, it's not. Alright, it is on her character. Uh, basically, Pearl has a key. Uh, the vault that they came from, Vault 38. Or 37, I forget which one. I'm sure future me is probably going to throw up on the screen right now. because, Or I could just go look for a boomer and see what has it on, etched on the back of their jackets. Um, but basically, it's actually a vault that's nearby Nellis, which is where the boomers came from. It was basically a like high-powered weapons-focused vault. And vault 34, that was it. Um, it is a very pain-in-the-ass vault to go through, I will say. 
And there's a unique weapon that's actually related to Veronica, but we can't get it because it's locked behind a really powerful uh, footlocker. But Pearl, of all people here, has the key. I guess because technically she's the leader of the people. I don't know if she was considered the overseer of Vault 34. I don't know. I'm sure Future Me is probably going to throw that up as well. Have you uh, seen Jack. The redhead of my dreams. You sound like a psychomaniac. Uh, good news, she's fr she feels the she same does? way. You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. So... Why does she need a boomer's outfit again? Because the gunners... I... Mm, whatever. It's just a I way to, to, I guess, have her character model just blend in with the rest the of them. Pearl sent word saying it's alright to tell you about the lady in the water. Oh god, you're gonna get all King Arthur on me, aren't you? Lady in the water? That sounds really creepy, Loyal. Ain't nothing creepy about it. It's a term of respect. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Hmm. Well, where's the bomber located, even though you told me exactly where it's it was? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. And how do you expect me to raise a bomber from the bottom of the lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. If it's that simple, why haven't you done it already? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Convenient. Hmm. All right, Good. I'm game. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas how I can get to the bottom of the lake without, oh, I don't know, drowning? You might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Ooh, rebreather. Jack, where are you? I got some plans I need your help with. Jack? Jack? Don't tell me you disappeared on me again. All right, you know what? That's searching time. All right, that's Loyal, Eddie, Veronica. So he's in one of the rooms, or he walked out into the Air Force Base. Ah, there he is. Have you seen her? The re Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I, had a I have other things to attend to. Uh, Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater. I just some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Uh, corn silk, rubber hose, and removable adhesive would make a good harmonic seal. Hermetic, whatever. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. As opposed to an old rebreather I had. You know, those old rebreathers I've been carrying around this entire journey. All right. Well, we got a rebreather. And not to change the time. So let's check it out. This is actually one of the better things to get in New Vegas. And it's actually one of the reasons why I really like New Vegas. Because, well, variety. Because now we can breathe underwater. And we also look kind of badass while doing it. Yeah, in fact, uh, where's the where's this biker goggles at? Oh, I can't wear the goggles with this. Ah. All right. Well, I'll just put the rebreather back on because it has a higher damage resistance than the biker goggles do. 
But I'm gonna say right now, this mission, it kinda sucks! There's two reasons why. One, because, well, we're going to Lake Mead, which you know what that means, lake lurks. Lots of lake lurks. And we're gonna be in the water. We can't attack while we're swimming, but they can. So, depending on where I am, I'm probably gonna be chased this entire time. Also, being underwater scares me. A lot. And I got no fast way to get to there, so I gotta go past the Lake Lurk Nest to get between me and the bomber because the closest thing is uh, the beach campground, or I could go to Ranger Station Alpha. I might do that because it's actually a little bit closer. But first things first, we're gonna go back to the Crimson Caravan Company, give her the boomer jacket, and then we're gonna head off to Lake Mead. Alrighty, feels like it's been forever since I've been here, and I totally am not expecting to come back here multiple times in the future for another quest line. Uh, where the hell are you? There you Hello are. Again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I want to talk to him about it again. I was you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I've got this boomer uniform right here. If you wear it while you cross There's to Nellis. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Ugh, fine. It's always something with you people. Can't ever be that easy. No, I gotta go speak to your boss now. Hey. Oi. Well, I do actually have business, so I was gonna have to talk to her sooner or later, you know, for Cass and all. All right, where are you? There you are, boss lady. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Um, Jen asked me to ask you about releasing her from ah, her contract. Yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Hmm. Janet's wages can't be that much. Why bother keeping her, keeping them from her? All right. Are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for Being her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just this once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. I took- I asked her- I wanted her to go run off with her boyfriend. Oh, but please, she would be so happy! Alright, fine. That's probably the weakest argument to get paid I've ever heard in my life. Um, are there any contracts common for the Crimson Caravan Most Company? merchant companies, successful merchant companies rather, have them. It can be inconvenient to replace employees on short notice. The contracts keep employees around for a specific duration of time, after which they get paid. After their upkeep and expenses are deducted, of course. What kind of upkeep expenses? Food, water, living quarters, medicine and clothes, just the basic stuff. It all comes out of the company's coffers. Are work contracts yes. legal? and they have been for decades now. The hired hands know what they're signing up for. We don't hide anything with fancy talk. Seems like companies are getting the better deal. That's because deal. we are. We always pay up when the contract ends, though. Won't stay in business long if you've got a reputation as a cheat. Hmm. Really? How fortuitous that you say that. I'm looking for some work. Anything I can I'm do? I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards. But I am in need of a runner. Oh god, this just became Mirror's Edge. It's too white! Too white! I'll take it. What do you need to do? this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. All right. I've been meaning to go to Camp McCarran sometime in the future. Uh, I'd like to learn more about the Crimson Caravan Company. I am doing some work for you guys. Might as well get to know your enemy. I mean employers. Certainly. What would you like to know? How long have you guys the been Crimson in business? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Does the Crimson, uh, you're well dressed for this place. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the new Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. 
I'll change all that soon enough. Does the Crimson Caravan Company have any competition? Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. Interesting, interesting. We keep learning a whole lot about the New Canaanites because, well, they've been coming up in like three different conversations. Who knows? Maybe we'll see some of them. Maybe we'll get to interact with some of them. Maybe one will be so infuriating that I'll have to rip someone's head off. All right, where the hell are you? Have there you, you are, with Janet. Yet? I've convinced her to pay what you owed. You're That's free to great. leave. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the hell out of here. All right, quest time. Where is it? Valer. It's time to go to Lake Mead. And I guess I'll go to Ranger Station Alpha. Hello, my fellow NCR Ranger buddies. How goes the war on the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish it was a nuclear winter here as well, because holy hell is it hot. Alright. I can see two lake lurks over there, and I guess that's the two that are on my radar. Any over this way? Uh, radar's saying yes, but my eyes are saying no. So is my vats. Oh, no, wait, there's one. Hmm. The bummer's out there. Where the hell's the platform at? Because that's where their nest is. Eh, oh well. I might as well just take the shot and just deal with what I have to deal with. It'll also help if you can actually hit them. I guess I'm out of range. Oh, there's one up here? I didn't realize they came this far inland. I always thought they just stuck to the shoreline and not just come up to the road. Wow, this thing is inaccurate as all hell. I, I can't tell who hit that. Was that me or you, Eddie? There's no way I'm going to be able to hit that guy from this far. Uh-oh. Whoop. Nice shot, Eddie. All right. You know what? Laser pistol. That's not my laser pistol. That's my hunting rifle. That's my assault carbine. That's my fist. Where's my pistol at? All right, fine, plasma rifle. Better than nothing. Everybody, I want. Oh yes, bloody mess. Oh, it is so satisfying. All right. There's Hoover Dam. We still have to visit Hoover, Hoover Dam sometime in the future because, you know, the whole New Vegas storyline kind of revolves around Hoover Dam. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's the platform. Okay. Here's right. Here's the plan. Go fast, get on the platform before they get out into the water and have to attack me without me any way of retaliating back. And so far, none are in the water. That's good. I hate the fact that you can't attack an. Oh god. They can't attack an. Oh god. Avast, matey! I have boarded ye vessel! I'm actually surprised I actually hit him for once! Oh god! There's one right behind me, isn't there? Oh god, yes! Uh-oh. No, get out of the water! Get out of the water! I'm about to die as well. Veronica, are you unconscious in the water? Damn it, girl, up your game! Speaking of up in game, uh, Stimpax. I need Stimpax. Uh, uh, this is what I call running and gunning. Veronica. Veronica. Rise and shine, sweetheart. Oh, he's in the water. I can just hear the Jaws theme playing right now. Alright, well. Well, he's in the water. I can't really do a whole lot for him. Might as well just see what they have around here. Uh, ooh, ammunition. And missiles! Too bad I don't have a missile launcher, because those things are really unreliable as all hell. 
except for one. But that's a unique one, and we're not going to be seeing that for quite a while. Uh, uh, radio. Ammunition. Energy cells. Can't really see anything else that really interests me. I know there's actually some star bottle caps on here. Just need to figure out where they are located. Because they're on one of these platforms. I don't know which one, but I know they're on one. What was that? Uh. And that's empty. That's a globe that's completely useless because this isn't Fallout 4. Ooh, a Raceland Survival Guide. I forgot that was actually up here. And, oh, damn it, over-encumbered. You know what? Ate the Xander root. Where's the... Benayuka. Barrel cactus. Eat some steak. Juice some gum. Kick some ass. Hello, pizza delivery. I'd like to have some bottle caps. Baseball, iron. I'll take the sunset, at least. Oh god. He's out of the water. Where is he? I'm surprised you can hit me from all the way over there. I mean, it's always so clunky in this game. That's why you abuse the hell out of bats. Veronica, are you ever going to wake up? There we go. What's that empty whiskey bottle? Huh, I guess I can't find no star bottle caps. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure someone in the comments is probably going to point out which platform they're on. Good news is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Well, the good news is they took. Oh, wait, there they are. Okay, it was just one bottle cap, but you know, every single cap counts. Now, Veronica, would you please wake up and get out of the water? Alright, well, I'm going to. Thank you. Oh, God! I'm not gonna lie, that actually scared the hell out of me because he was in the standing pose. Alright, I'm gonna get, get some sleep. As it's been a night. I'm just gonna wait till I get some daylight be so it'll be easier. I'm gonna equip my grenade launcher. Because... If you thought... Lake Lurks were annoying, and they are! Oh boy, we get to meet my favorite enemies again! Oh, joy to the world. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about any more Lake Lurks, because... Well, there is a location down under here, there's like an underwater cave. I, that's like, completely pointless, and it's just like a... Air pocket area for when you actually do go into... Here without the rebreather on. But nonetheless, I might as well go pay to visit. Maybe there is actually something there I completely overlooked. But first things first, a bummer. Not just a bummer. Oh, oh no. Where where are these things coming from? They're saying they're coming from over there. Veronica, do you say anything? I mean, you're swimming around like a fish for crying out loud. And speaking of fish. I think it's the first time we actually ever seen fish in the Fallout series. This appears to be a good location to attach one of the, the deployable ballasts. Would you like to attach it to the plane? Yes, I would. Oh, this is a very well intact plane. I mean, there's no corpses in here. The pilots must have gotten out when the plane crashed. But how are you supposed to get into the pilot's cabin? Because I don't see a door back there. Touch the ballast. All we have to do is just activate it, but I want to go check out the cave that's over here real quick. I'm sure there's nothing in here, but the better man in me is saying, go for it, dude. Plus, you know, free 10 XP, so might as well. Veronica, you scare the hell out of me sometimes. I need to get you a different outfit because you look just like a late goic for a second. And just as I thought, there is absolutely nothing inside this cave. Uh, wait. Spoketh too soon because there's some sunset sarsaparilla. And I'm over encumbered again. 
Here, I'll eat this apple and I'll eat this potato to look a little bit more like an asshole. And this junk food. I don't even remember where I got the junk food at. Yep, absolutely nothing inside this cave besides those sunset sarsaparillas. Alright, time to get out. Oh, wait, wait, spoke too soon yet again. Nothing, nothing, ammo, and health. Wow, I'm a complete and total idiot. Ooh, and 45 50 government ammo. That's actually quite rare. And it's actually for a weapon I really want to get my hands on, which I probably will try to in the future. Uh, I'll take the doctor's bag. Anything in here? Any more stim packs? Empty syringe, rebound, stim pack. All right. Anything in you? Nothing. Nada. Zero. Zip. Zilch. All right, let's get out of here. Junk food is worn off. Back to the Mojave. There's an air pocket in here, but we completely dive right back into the water, even though the entrance to the cave had air above it. Go figure. Alright. I have to swallow my pride and have to face my fears head on. Because you might remember what my favorite enemy was. And we're going to be seeing a whole nest of them. Oh god, I don't want to do this. What is the... Deal with the... Well, whatever it is, it's not scurrying back and forth, except for that one to the side. And that tells you immediately what that thing is going to be. Oh god, there's a whole lot of them. Oh god, they're scurrying. Definitely going to want to take them out before I have to do with the ballasting. Oh, I can see them. Aim a little bit higher. Too high. Gazadors. I think I might be out of their aggro, aggro range. Nope, here they come. Veronica, I need you to go punch things. Thankfully, Cazador I have an explosive weapon, so Cazadors aren't really as much of an issue. Because, well, clip their wings and they basically aren't as fast or as dangerous. Where's this? Oh, that's actually the detonator thing saying I'm in range to activate the ballast. I thought that for a second that there was a landmine around here. Alright, come on. Can I actually hit these damn things? I know there's one around here somewhere. Eh, whatever. Good weapons, loyal detonator, where is it? There it is. And let us raise the lady of the lake, so that she may fly the blue skies once again. There it goes. Woo, look at that beauty float. That was probably the most accurate victory tune I've ever heard, Eddie. Alright. Against my better judgment, because Eddie cannot hit the broadside of a barn. Uh, what's my best chance of hitting them? Let's see. 67, that's the highest chance. I'm going for it. Woo! Look at that thing fly! Holy shit! <laughs> that was actually kind of hilarious. Well, I think I did it. I took care of the Cazadors that are over here. There's an, They do have a nest inside that little, like, hangar right there. I don't know why there's a hangar in a boat area, I guess. It was like a boat garage thing. Whatever. That red dash is really starting to get under my skin of what the hell is it? Jesus, Veronica, you scared me the shit out of me again. All right. Sunset, sunset, everywhere there's a sunset. Bottle caps, so many bottle caps. Star bottle caps, normal bottle caps, bottle caps of bottle caps. Little hula girls, why can't I pick those things up? I like to attach one to Eddie. Uh, 
regular old kitchen knives. I have no use for it. Another star bottle cap. Bottle caps, pre-war money. Wow, I actually made a good choice of coming into here. Alrighty. Ooh, a safe. Bottle caps, a butter knife, pre-war money, and scrap electronics. Don't need any of that. So, let us head back to Nellis, and then I think I'll call it a part. Oh, we will be coming back and exploring this area, because there's actually a couple things to note over in this part of the Mojave. And I will need to grab myself a radiation suit before I head over there, because <coughs> uh, this place uh, is kind of annoying. This place right here. That looks like a volcano. But back to Nellis! I've got people to talk to. Loyal, you silver-haired stallion, where are you? We did it! Loyal? Loyal, there you are. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Say no more, your plan worked. The plane floated up and seems to be intact. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. How exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Yeah, I mean, there's already a war going on, so probably not to get piss anyone who could, you know, overrun your position off. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead. Yeah, Hello. speaking of Jack. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while, so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Hello. Ah, uh, true love. He's a keeper. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Like I said. All right, well, I don't have any scrap metal, buddy. But ah, young love. Blech. All right, back to Pearl. Complete the quest and call it apart. That's a good omen. Pearl, I have good news for you. Step, sister. Hello, friend. How can mother? I've spoken to Loyal. The B twenty nine is on its way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. Yes, I know I am you a miracle, child. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Hmm. Nat, too easy. Uh, there may be a battle in the near future at Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. Good point! See ya. Alright, and we leveled up, so I think that's probably the best note to go out on this in this video. So, what do we have? Well, we got science, sneak, speech... Honestly, I don't know what to go with this time. I'm actually gonna have to do some intense thinking. Alright, so I decided to up my medicine by 5. I put lockpick at 57 because I really gotta get the hot... Eh? 50, 60, or... No, it was 75 for... To get hard locks. 
Yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with this for now. Lockpick at 70, 57, almost at 75. I wish it was at 75. Uh, medicine at 55, so I think I got a medical, medical journal so I can head back to the uh, Michelangelo's place so we can continue Eddie's quest line along with his quest. I got survival at 25, even though against my better judgment, I might as well just get some survival in there because, uh, hey, you know what? Screw it. We're putting lockpick at, at 6, 59. Eh, to hell with it. It's better than survival. And I decided to up uh, unarmed a little bit because, eh, why not? I might decide to use Power Fist and Displacer Gloves and all that stuff because it's actually a really good unarmed weapon if you have the high enough skill to use it. But yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. I have decent enough science, speech, and repair, so I don't really need to worry about those right now. I might have guns next time, but eh, who knows. So, done. And that's probably the best note to go out on. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're not going to be heading back and giving the news to the NCR. There's actually a couple things I need to do, one of which is back in Freeside. I know you guys are tired of seeing me going back to Freeside, but I have to get it done. Uh, we may uh, switch Rock out and might get Arcade to join us for some rambunctious little excapades down in the lower part of the Mojave. I really do need to visit Caesar's place in Cottonwood Cove. I did a little bit of testing. I can go back there to, for completion of his quest line, so I definitely will do that next. Uh, there's also a couple things here that we can do, so until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>